this video I'm going to be showing TIG welding uh, the ends of these wire which is uh, stainless steel braided wire ends up making a loop that looks like this the end will be uh, TIG welded forms a ball shaped end this is what it looks like sitting in the fixture that I created for this spring loaded uh, fixture to hold the uh, little wires while, while I uh, TIG weld them <clears throat> the tool that this fits into my Smith ma or uh, I'm sorry <laughs> pistol pal tool for the uh, Mark II Ruger pistols this fits in a hole and this that's drilled into the side of the uh, hex head bolt here and gets crimped in there and the little the little ball that forms on the end keeps it from pulling out it's a really uh, neat little system to have discovered to be able to TIG weld this like this this is the uh, the tool that it goes to. This is the head. <clears throat> this is an extractor, the extractor tool on the end of the tool. It screws into the Delrin body. And that's a loop for pulling open the. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, loop for pulling open the back end of the Ruger pistol, the Ruger 22 pistols. Yeah, that's what the little wire uh, looks like when it's all set. I'll try to zoom in here a little bit and uh, get a shot of this thing TIG welded. Thing adjusted where hopefully we'll be able to see it properly. Oops. Using this, uh, trying out this speed glass helmet. A friend of mine at the welding shop brought over me to try it out. Seems to be a pretty nice machine, pretty nice uh, helmet. Very looking when it looks set up here. on a uh, Dynasty, Miller Dynasty 200, 200 machine. Okay, I can turn this back up. Now. 